Hello, are we beautiful? Do we have here? We are about to go to our country house. Of course. <laughs> Where else? And I'm taking these little plants with me. I grew them from, from seed on our balcony. First inside, then on our balcony, because it was too cold. And now I think they are ready to be planted inside our beds on our property. So we have some. Uh, pumpkins and cucumbers and stuff. I am amazed how <laughs> great it looks. Let's see if they survive in the wild. They will. <laughs> they have to. And these are our radishes. Tommy grew them on our balcony. Yes, I did. Now there are new strawberries in their place. Mm -hmm. We have guests in our granary. There are little birds inside this nest. I saw them before when they didn't know who's coming. They, they started peeping and uh, showing their hungry mouths. <laughs> but now they already know we are not their mother. So they're hiding inside. Yeah. We had a little accident. Peter did. I cut my leg. Totally with the mini scythe. Yeah. He was trying to cut the grass, but he cut his leg instead. Yeah. How it are you feeling? I feel good, but I don't want to go to the hospital. I think it would need like two stitches. Yeah. But I'm messaging my sister, she's a doctor, and uh, she texted me that maybe we could try some strips. Like, pull the skin together and somehow, I don't know, glue it together but we need to disinfect it first mm -hmm. uh, we have just some alcohol yeah, pure alcohol and it will be brutal yeah but we stopped the bleeding but the cut is pretty deep yeah, doesn't look too good Okay, so we used a plaster, cut it into smaller pieces and glued the cut together so it would grow back. Together. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know what I'm talking about. I'm not a medical doctor. Tommy is in shock. He doesn't like blood, so he's feeling worse than me. <laughs> like he's he feels lightheaded when he sees blood. Yeah. I didn't feel light, lightheaded, but I felt like crying a little bit. So I have to be the reasonable person here. Yeah. These bugs, they eat our mint. They look pretty, sparkly, but we don't want them here. They are everywhere. Last Christmas I gave Peter this uh, drinking bottle with this something <laughs> <laughs> as a present and we, we took it with us for the first time to test it and yeah it's, I guess, a little bit more convenient. You don't have to unpack it from your backpack. Yeah, and it's working. <laughs> yeah. The water is flowing, so it's <laughs> great. And now the sun came out as well, so I had to use the opportunity and tan, at least for a little while. <laughs> This is a special telephone, <laughs> I don't know what to call it, but basically when someone is at the door and they ring the bell, this rings and we push the button and it opens the door. 
and you can talk to the people. <laughs> yeah, hello, who's there? Each year we create a new calendar with our pictures from the past year, from our adventures. Mm -hmm. Yeah, she's hanging on the wall as well here. It's a Christmas present from Tommy to both of us. <laughs> And we can always remember where we were and what we were doing yeah. on the previous year. Yeah. Oh, we don't have uh, the thing in the thing because it's not allowed here. Yeah. That's very common in America. Yeah. The destroyer. <laughs> in the thing, like you throw stuff trash, there. Trash destroyer. <laughs> In the TV shows, they put their hands and fingers there and they get cut off. Yeah. Chopped off. We love American horrors. <laughs> so we don't have that. It's not allowed here because yeah. it would somehow destroy the... Clog the pipes. Mm -hmm. And also it's not environment friendly apparently. Mm -hmm. So that's Europe. We also have this gymnastic ball. It should be good for your back. You should sit straight and when you have back pain, then it should be good. <laughs> That's great. Yeah. Good stuff. That's good. Is it good for your back? Mm -hmm. This is great. What I can do. <laughs> ah, wow. You totally touched the ground. This is great. <laughs> yeah. Whee! Is this also good for your back? Mm -hmm. Everything is. So here are the radishes we've just harvested. You can see that some of them really exploded <laughs> on the inside. Uh, yeah, so we started with those. We kept the rest of in the ground, but we will harvest them in the next days. Mm -hmm. There's no point in keeping them there for too long. Yeah. I've just harvested uh, some of our herbs. Uh, this is oregano. This is arugula, my favorite. <laughs> I'm gonna chop these two up and add it to our dinner. We have spaghetti today. And this is mint. I'm going to make mint tea. Cool. Can't but, wait. Yeah, I love all these herbs, but the aragula is really a special one for me because I love it. <laughs> it has a lot of holes in it. Looks yeah. like others love it too. Yeah, but it doesn't matter. Yeah, it will still taste the same. Mm -hmm. Last time we were here, I planted a sunflower which grew up on our balcony in the city, accidentally, in the middle of our basil uh, pot. And it survived. It's a tiny one, it's already going uh, into flower. And <laughs> normally they would go like this, probably. But yeah, our micro sunflower is doing well. I'm harvesting. Uh, what's left of our dill I will chop it up and put it into our freezer for later Yeah, and then I will clean up the bed and reuse it for something else mm -hmm. We'll see what seeds I'll find harvesting the dill. I cleaned up the bed after the dill and I prepared it and now I'm planting seeds of carrot. We haven't tried carrot before. I mean planting carrot, we tried eating it. <laughs> we like it and that's why we are planting it now. So let's see if it will grow. Uh, I also planted more aragula for Peter mm. because he told me 
he wants unlimited supply yes, of aragula. I want that. Yeah. But the problem with aragula is that it grows very quickly, so it's not like you plant it once a year and then you keep harvesting. You need to keep planting it gradually. So yeah, I did another batch. And I also tried uh, replanting some strawberries that, that Peter found when he was spading a few days ago. So we didn't want to destroy them. And uh, so I found a new bed, garden bed for those. Great. Yeah. And yeah, I tried another batch of turnip as well. The previous one is not doing that well. I think only two seeds out of 15 uh, have uh, grown up so far. So let's see if the next one will be more successful. Yes. This summer hasn't been as warm as the previous years and it's been quite rainy. Yeah, it's been totally rainy. It's different for us because previous summers were always dry and hot and this is different. Maybe it's the area as well because we are higher than Brno, our city. Not that much higher but there is a difference. But uh, we're not complaining because thanks to the rain we haven't had to water our garden beds and uh, plants and trees maybe for even a few months. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so it has its advantages, but I think it's weird to be in your sweater in summer uh, every evening and morning, yeah. so yeah, <laughs> it's new, yeah. it's new. I picked a few currants. Currant berries? Yeah, currant berries. And it's a mix of black currant and red currant. Cool. We'll add it to our breakfast today. Yeah, but these trees are really old and they only have a few fruits. Yeah. It's still a nice harvest for free. Yeah. <laughs> we didn't do anything. <laughs> <laughs>